Hello guys, welcome back. This is um ethical here with you. So um in this video I'll be showing you how to work with um students records in Microsoft you know of uh, Excel. Alright, so without wasting time, as you can see, I'm already in the Excel. So I'm going to create a very simple um table, um records of students. Alright, so let me increase, let me zoom so that you'll be able to see what I'm doing. Alright, so I'm going to start with um serial number. Okay, so um, we have student name. I'm going to have name. Let's assume we have test one, test two. Let's see test three. All right, so these are um, after test we're going to have um, of course exam. Exam. So let's quickly create a list of students. So I'm going to generate a list of students. Let me zoom this. All right, so I'm going to make this auto generate. Um, let's see, up to 10 students. Let me increase this. So, the first students we're going to take, um, Sunny. We're going to have Nisa. All right, so, um, Ali is here. Bonus. Then, um, John. Let's see, Miriam. Okay. Let's see, we have edits, we have joy, we have um, a male student, let's see, we have, um, let's see, Aisha, then the last student, let's see, Abbas, alright, so these are the names of our students, now we're going to generate the test score for them, uh, the test is going to be over, let's assume the test is over 10, so I'm going to give them random scores, alright, Okay, so these are just random scores. We're generating these scores to be able to, you know, um, use for this particle. So let's go. That is test one. Now, for test two, we we'll generate random numbers for them. Let's see: eight, three, five, six, two, nine, six, four. Let's see: seven. All right. So that's for test two. Now let's go to um, test 3, we have, um, let's see, 4, 8, 2, 7, 6, 5, 9, 3, 7, 5, and 8. So these are the um, test scores from test 1 to test 3. Now let's generate exam scores for these students. So let's give the first student 30, 45, 23, 57, um, 40, 43. Let's give this one um, 28. All right, the test the exam is over 60. All right, so let's go. Um, we have 55, we have 33, we have um, 38. Let's give this one, um, this student 30, 35. All right, so this is exam. I'm going to make this bold, so I'll highlight this. Um, let me make it bold. Okay, so we have exam, we have, uh, so we've generated, you know, list of students with their um, scores. Now, let's find the total here. We're going to look for the total of this, um, the total grade, the total score for each student. Then we'll look for the minimum, that is minimum, all right. After minimum, we'll look for the maximum. Okay, now after maximum, we'll look for... Um, let's see, average, the average score, all right? Then after that, we'll look for the, um, let's see, grade. Okay, so these are the stuff we need, these are the things we need to look for. You know, we need to calculate all these grades for each of the student. Now, I'm going to, um, I think grade is the last one. I'm going to make this um, background color blue, and I'm going to change the font color to white. Okay, so as you can see, this is how it looks like. Let me zoom in for you to see. All right, so let me um, add a new rule at the top. So I'll just right click on this rule. I'll click on insert. Now I want to add a rule here. I've added a rule. I'll merge it. Then I'll just type in, I'll give you the heading students. Let's say students records. Okay, students record. 
all right so i'll also make the text color white i'm going to make the text color white and the background color blue okay so i'll also make this blue and i'll increase the font size a little to something like 14. okay so um let me bring in the um border colors sorry the border line I want to bring in the border line, so I'll highlight the complete area, then I'll come to borders. Under borders, I'll select all borders. All right, so as you can see, um, we've added borders. Now, okay, we need to look for the total of each student's record, okay, each student's um, score. We need to add test one, test two, test three, and the exam score to get the total. All right, so without wasting time, let's do that. So every, you know, um, formula in Excel starts with equal sign. So I have equal to, let me zoom in so I'm able to, you know, see what I'm doing. All right, so, so for total, I'm going to have equal to, then I have sum, S-U-M, okay? This is the formula to look for sum. Now I need to tell the system from where I want to start my calculation. So my... Uh, I want to start my calculation, my addition from C3. You can see this is C, under the column of C, then row 3. So this 5 is on C3, okay? So I will take in, I will type in C3, okay? I want to calculate from C3 to F3, okay? That is where the exam score is. So I'm going to add this F3. You can see those rules have been those cells have been highlighted. So I'll just close the bracket and I'll press enter. As simple as that. So you can see we have gotten, you know, the total score for the first student. So I need, your, I need to auto fill the remaining scores. All right. So I'll just drag and, of course, release to get, you know, the total score for every student. Now let's calculate for the, let's calculate the minimum score for each student. Now I'm going to calculate from test one to of course the exam score we're going to get the minimum score from test one to exam so to start with let me zoom so that you see the what i'm doing so i'm going to have equal sign to calculate for minimum the formula is very simple so you can type in equal sign sorry me m i n okay then the open brackets then the cell address which is what we're starting from c3 that is where five is so i'm typing c3 so we're looking for the minimum from C3 to um, F3, all right? So I'll type in F3, then I'll close my brackets, then I'll hit enter. Of course, the minimum score between um, 5, 7, and 5, 7, 4, and 30 is, of course, 3. So I'll just auto-fill this. I'll click and drag to get the minimum score of the remaining, you know, students. Now let's go to the next one that says maximum, all right? So let me expand this field, the um, column. So for test for the maximum score, I need to let me just expand this so that you see what I'm doing. Now I'm going to start. Um, of course, for maximum, the formula is equal sign. Then we have sorry, max M A X for maximum. Then we're going to have from C three. Of course, that is where we started from. C three. That is where five is. From C three to F three. All right. So two, you just add column to tell the system that you are trying to get from a particular cell range to the next one, which is what? F3. Um, so I'll just close my brackets and I'll hit enter. You can see the highest score there is what? The highest score is 30. So I'll just click to autofill the remaining, you know, uh, records, the remaining, for the remaining rules. So you can see we've gotten the maximum. Now let's look for the average, this is very simple to look for average. There is a there is an inbuilt formula to get this done. All right. So for average, let me zoom. For average, we we'll start with equal sign. Then we have average, just like the name implies. So average, we we'll open our brackets. Okay. So average to get average is just the total score. The total score divided by the number of items right so but there is an input formula that we can use to achieve this so we have the formula is equal sign average then um we have the cell address c3 sorry c3 to um c3 to what um exam is f3 right so from c3 to f3 
Then I'll close my brackets. As you can see, that those um, cells have been highlighted from test one to exam. All right. So all I need to do is just press enter, and you get notice that my address is eleven point five for the first, you know, um, student. So I need to just click and drag, and I'm going to get the remaining, you know, scores. I'm going to get the remaining average for the for the rest of the student. Now, the next one is what? We need to calculate for the grade. Now, before you calculate for grade, you need to have, you know, um, a threshold. You need to have a benchmark for each grade. For example, let's do that at the middle, at the bottom here. Let's assume for A, for a student to score A, he must score, um, his score must be less than, sorry, greater than or equal to 70. Okay, in that case, the, for you to score in, for any student to score in, his score, his total score must be greater than or equal to 70. All right, so we say that student scores A. Then for B, that student must, his total grade, his total score must be greater than or equal to, let's say, 60. Then for C, his grade, his or her grade must be greater than or equal to 50. Then let's go for D. His grade must be greater than or equal to um, 40. Then we can see else that student has failed that particular course. So any score that is less than 40, we we'll see that student has. Um, so I'm going to have 40. It means that student has failed that particular course. So instead of using less than, sorry, instead of using greater than or equal to 70, we can still have something like, um, we can still have something like um, greater than um, 69. Of course, any, any score that is greater than 69, that person must have scored 70 and a book, right? So the same process, greater than 59, okay, for B, greater than 49, for C, then greater than 39 for D and of course less than less than what um, yeah less than 40 that is from 39 downward right okay so from 39 downward the person is called F so let me highlight this I'm going to uh, put this in blue and I'll change the text this is like what we will be using to calculate for our grade. All right, so having learned this, of course, we've known the score that the student needs to hit before he gets A, and also for B, he needs to score a grade above, you know, um, 59, that is from um, 60 to 69. He should score B. All right, so let's implement this. Now I need to come to grade. Now, for us to calculate grade, we need to use this column, the total column, because the total column is what shows the highest, that is the, um, the overall score of each student, all right? So, it is the total column that we'll be using to calculate this grade, okay? So, let's impute this formula to see what the grade is. Now, for us to achieve this, we need to use the conditional um, statement, that is a uh, if statement, okay? So just like as usual, our uh, formula starts with equal sign. So I'm going to have if, then I have open bracket, if the value that is in total, so the cell address of um, the first total here is what G3. As you can see, this is G, then this one will be 3. So I'm going to have if G3, okay, you can see that that um, cell is highlighted. If G3 is greater than the benchmark here is what 69 so once a student scores has a score that is greater than 69 of course any score that is greater than 69 must be from 70 and a book right from 70 to 100 so if the score is greater than 69 so i'm going to add 69 then i have comma okay if this three is greater than 69 comma then the system should print out, I need to put double quotes to tell the system to print out A. Then I'll close the double quotes. Then I'll have comma. Okay. Then the next option is what? I need to test whether the student scores B. 
Okay? So I've tested for A. What if the student doesn't meet up with this criteria? Then we should check for the system should check for B. So if then I open bracket, if G3, I'm still using that same score. If G3 is greater than the next one for B, the student to score B, his grade must be above what? 59. So let's go. So if G3 is greater than um, 59, all right, comma, the system should print out um, B. All right, so I need to close out double quotes. Then I have comma. Then I'll test again for C. Open bracket G3. If G3 is greater than 49, so I'll add in 49. Okay, comma. The system should print out C. Close our bracket, our uh, double quotes. Then we have comma. Then we test again. If, then we open our bracket. If um, G3 is greater than um, after 49, after C is D, right? If G3 is greater than um, 39 now, okay, we have comma. Then we double quotes. The system should print out D. Then we close the double quotes. Then we now say else. Now we double quotes. Then we say fill. That is F. Now we need to count. I think F is the last option. Now we need to count the number of if statement that we've gotten or the number of open brackets that we have. So as you can see, we have one, we have two, we have three, we have four. Yeah, so we have four open brackets. Now I need to close those open brackets. One, two, three, four. Once I hit enter now, you notice that the first grade, the first student had its um, D grade. That is to tell you that for D, the score has to be above um, 39, from 39 to 49. From, sorry, from um, 40, yeah, from 40 to 49. That means his, his total grade is from 40 to, as you can see, is 46. So that is for the first students. Now let's autofill this. I'll click and drag to the last student, and as you can see, we have um, the first student had B. For B, what is the benchmark for B? It has to be from 59, sorry, from 60 to 69. Alright, from 60 to 69. And as you can see, the student scored 67. That is why he had um, a big leap. So for F, of course, we said if any student scored below 40. Alright, so I think this student has scored F. His grade, his total score is 34. Of course, it's less than 40. All right, so that is why he had F. So this is how easy it is to implement this. And um, not only alphabet, you can use you know um, words or strings also. Instead of alphabet, for example, let's say for um, what, um, for A, we can actually change this from A to something like um, let's say we want to add. Excellent instead of E. So we can have something like excellence. If I hit enter now, you notice that we have excellence. Alright, so instead of E, we'll be having excellent. Now you can see if I drag over this now, on this, you notice that um, A has been replaced with excellent. Alright, so this is how simple it is to calculate, you know, grid in Microsoft. Um, Excel. Okay, so um, if you have any question, you can do well by you know asking me in the co comments. Just ask your question in the comment section, and I'll be super happy to answer your questions. All right. So this is how easy it is to get this done. Let us uh, resize this. Okay, so this is how easy it is to get this done all right so thank you so much for watching if you have any questions you can drop it in the comment section and i'll be super happy to you know um answer your questions all right bye for now